Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be a spirit message for September. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. Um, hopefully this will resonate in your like, share and subscribe. If not, there's other spirit messages on my channel and the September monthly readings are out if you want to look at them. But Spirit, please show me today what it is you want to show me. She gets, uh, cancer to see, please. Have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. So have faith in your dreams. So if there's any goals here that you're wanting to achieve or a path you're going down, you have to keep the faith. Achieving goals is really all about trusting and believing. Uh, if you believe it, you'll see it. Thoughts become things. A time for healing, balsamic moon. So it might be a time for rejuvenation, reviewing, recovering for some people. Or just being in a nice, quiet place so you can be at one with yourself. Conclusions are within reach. The full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. So your goals, have faith in your dreams because they're on their way here. Um, maybe take time out away from stressful situations if you're feeling that things are not quite going quick enough. But the conclusions are in sight. We'll take one angel answer card. And there we go again. This is about your faith. It's about being assertive. It's about clear-minded about how you want to go forward here. And that, that quickens the manifestation process up through being assertive, being clear-headed, and trusting in the journey you're on. And we'll take some tarot. I'll give you some divine directions at the end of this reading as well. So, Spirit, please show me what this is about. We've got the Emperor. Beautiful energy. The Six of Pentacles. Beautiful, balanced energy. The Page of Swords. Be your news. Clarity, some sort of clarity. The Ten of uh, pentacles. Now I'm going to take them all because I want to see the central card before we talk about this. The three of wands. The six of wands. Beautiful central card of success and victory. You're on the right path here, Cancer. The beautiful star card. The five of swords. Devil energy makes sense. And there we go. There's your conclusion and completion. I love tarot. The world card. Now, what we've got here at the centre of this reading is the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands here is somebody who's been through battle. He's victorious. Though. There's a certain amount of success. He's been successful. The thing about the Six is there's more success to come. So having faith in the journey you're on, things you're going to have success with it. Being positive, being assertive and being clear-headed about how you want to go forward will bring in victory. So this is a triumph card. It's also a card of people recognising your, your uh, achievements here. So this could be in any area of your life, but it's about the challenges you're having, what you're passionate about. And this is about having faith and achieving what it is you want for yourself here. So you're on the right path here, Cancer, definitely. And it's about looking to your future here. It's about putting plans in place over what it is you're wanting to achieve. Now you can see I'm looking out to the future. We can act on our plans now. Uh, it might be a time for healing, so we might want to step, sit back a bit and review things and look at what we've achieved up till now, but we're definitely on the right road towards achieving our goals here. This is a, right, a passage, well, it's a passage here. He's looking out to the, obviously to the, the boat there that and the journey it's on. It's just, I, I still feel though, I still feel here because I'm getting this energy through, so I have to say it, that there's a time where we need to take time out now from the challenges, and that would serve you well. So sometimes I say, you know, it's time to get on the boat, but I sometimes feel here it's time for you just to sit back a wee bit. Yeah, this healing card here, they're showing me in my mind's eye the Four of Wands, it, I beg your pardon, the Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords for me is recovering, recuperating or reviewing things. So it could also be pampering yourself. I'm getting that feeling, the four of swords here. So mentally, it might be time to heal. But it's about looking forward here to what you've, uh, you're passionate about and putting things into action. Threes are about laying solid foundations. And if we do that now, we're going to go towards our success. So there's good news there. Now, this is going to be 
taking a wee bit of rest. This is a healing and rejuvenation card, so I do feel there's an element of that, of that in this reading for you, Cancer. So you can see there's hope, rejuvenation. Uh, it could be, you know, if you're taking time out, you can see things more clearly if you're in a good energy. Um, reviewing things can give you some sort of clarity as well here. So there's good things ahead. It's a hope rejuvenation in this situation or this goal achievement that you're trying, you're this goal that you're trying to achieve. So your dreams are in sight here. You're going to become the star of your own show. We've got the six of wands, like I say, victory and going towards you, coming into your own beautiful balance here within yourself and your environments and relationships. And like I say, there might be a time where you're, they're saying have faith because you might be feeling stuck here. Now, this could be stuck in anything, anything that's holding you back. So it could be that you're in a job environment that's not suiting you um, and you're trying to get out of that. But be positive about anything that's holding you back, whether it be toxic relationships, environments, addictions, or it could just simply be the ego-based energy of the devil, you know, the wee voice in your head saying, you know, I'll never achieve this. You are on the right path. You might need to say, like, take a wee bit of time away from your challenges at the moment, but believe in and have faith that you have the abilities to move forward from anything that's making you stuck is highly important here because there is conclusions further down the line. Things are going to come to, even if you're feeling a bit stuck in these things, in these situations, things are going to move forward, definitely. Now, for this to happen, there might be a bittersweet victory here. Fives are change. And a bittersweet victory can mean... You're leaving things behind. Um, you're winning, but you've you've lost something along the way. So it might be that you're leaving a toxic relationship and you're having to leave home. It could be you're leaving a job environment that doesn't suit you, but you're leaving people you like behind. Anything at all like that. It's a bittersweet victory we're talking about here. Now, this is, like I say, fives of change. We want to be focusing what we've gained here and not what we've left behind, what we've lost. Okay. Now, we've got here... On top of the conclusions card, there's this page of swords. Now, this can be information coming forward or any ideas you have about how you want to go forward. Your ideas are fine. You're on the right path here. What we want to be doing here is, this is start of clarity, staying focused, being believing in ourselves here that what we're doing, we can achieve. Now, this could also be a bit of news coming in from someone, a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, because this is, can be communication here or it could be you communicating something. It doesn't have to be a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius that brings this news, but there's certainly, it could it could be somebody you're dealing with here. So you could be communicating something as well, or you're thinking about how you're going to communicate. Be positive, be sure of yourself when you go forward uh, with your ideas or any kind of communication that's needed here. Because this is all designed to bring balance into your life. So we want it for healing. It could be that you're needing to do this and then you will heal. So there's a healing energy. And I'm saying that because we've got this um, devil energy here. Now, this here is about ensuring that we have well-balanced relationships. So if it's a personal relationship, we don't want to be putting too much effort into things and not getting the same reciprocated. We don't want to be the one doing all the work because that's not good balance. We don't want to be lending people money and not getting it back. You can see the scales of balance here. It's also about ensuring that we're not overworked and underpaid, that we're being appreciated for our skills, all that type of thing. So this could be in any area of life because pentacles are about your work environments, your home life, your relationships and your finances. So it might be that you're a wee bit stuck, you've not enough money here, so you might have to look at a better, well-balanced financial plan for yourself and put things in place. You might have an idea of how you're going to do it now, or there's some information coming forward that's going to help you. But it's a bittersweet victory here, definitely. So, for example, if we want a better financial plan, what we might have to do is cut our cloth to get to where we want to go, to go. and that can feel like a wee bit of bittersweet victory as well. It's about us taking control here. Have faith in your dreams. You're in the driving seat here. The emperor has a lot of knowledge that he's gained. So this could be someone coming in with some news that could help you towards your financial abundance, for example, because we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Now, this could be a, a boss coming forward, giving you a raise. It could be a windfall. Um, it could be somebody that's an inheritance, for example. All that type of thing. It could be a lottery win. 
but it's about it's not just about money this is about like i say bringing good balance into our relationships our environments and our home life so any anything that's tangible anything where we need to look at where that's holding us back that we could uh, improve on is going to be abundant for us and it's going to move you towards uh, a far more stable financially stable or relation you know better relationships better work environments so it could be an opportunity of a new job that comes forward um you know something like that but definitely abundance now this is about you being in control as well taking control of the situation the emperor is a very assertive person he knows exactly where he's going he's got all the knowledge he needs he's in control of his empire and he stays focused he's very focused he's not in this devil energy so he doesn't have toxic relationships, work environments and all that sort of thing around him. So taking control of something is going to move you towards your success and victory. If you've got a certain amount of success now, it's going to move you even further down the line towards the end of your goals here. So conclu conclusions are within reach here and you are going to achieve what it is that you're setting out to do here. OK, so I'll take a couple of divine directions for you here, Cancer. Nature. Reconnect with nature. Feel the sun on your skin and walk barefoot in the grass. It's always good. Always good. Say a time for healing. Doing something to nurture yourself. Time to sit back and kick the shoes off. Trust. And this is what this is about. It's having faith. Trust in your intuition and what you are feeling, sensing, seeing and, exper and experiencing. So it's about understanding you're on the right path. And you will get there. So trust and have faith in the journey you're on, Cancer. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.